while we're talking about Brad, let's get into gluten because you have kind of a different perspective on this than a lot of other health and wellness leaders. And I know again, through my wife and, and her Hashimoto's and going on the AIP diet, where you're actually eliminating all grains. So you're not just going gluten-free, you're actually going grain-free. And this is often used, you know, for people with Hashimoto's as a way to bring their antibodies down and, and try and alleviate their symptoms. But you've talked about in your research when it comes to thyroid that you haven't found any compelling research when it comes to gluten and, and a negative impact on the thyroid. So I'd love for you to talk more about that. You know, and another cool insight that went on in my head as I was writing this last book was, uh, there's tons of folks who have done regimes like that and, and you know, they, their experience is that it was helpful for them. But then I look at the, the science and go deep in the molecular mechanisms, I'm like, huh, gluten really doesn't do that. I mean, maybe this one has celiac, but, but then what I realized is that the, the biggest two factors that affect thyroid autoimmunity, so number one is iodine. That's like by far and away the biggest one. The second one is a type of inflammatory molecule called an adipokine. So we hear a lot about cytokines, cytokine storm these days. So adipokines are cytokines that come from fat cells. So the upshot of that is any diet that lowers your iodine and maybe bonus, you drop a few pounds, you could radically decrease inflammation on your thyroid just by those two things. And it might not even matter how you change your diet, but if you achieve those two goals, that can make a big positive difference. The AIP diet cuts out nearly all of the high sources of iodine that are common. And I've done some analysis showing that an average AIP menu will have maybe a fifth the iodine of a standard American diet. And for many people, a lot of their iodine is coming in from the, the processed grain products. And so if someone goes gluten-free, those things are just completely gone. 